would say the biggest obstacle to a CDO achieving that kind of synergy across these things, across silos, is the silos exist for a reason. They exist because uh, all of us in IT, whether we like to admit it or not, got paid to optimize business processes and analytics in isolation. We were paid not to pay attention to the things going on around us that involved maybe some of the same data, uh, either physically or logically. Uh, we've gotten to the point where that doesn't pay anymore. It did pay for decades. Now it's actually uh, a liability rather than an asset. So it's what pays now is to bring that together and leverage it in new ways like digital transformation, which can't take place unless we reconcile the, both the semantics and the content of those silos. The future of MDM is, is twofold, really. It, it, it's about embracing the best practices that we've always known are critically important, right? That we've talked about focusing on business value, managing for scope, implementation of a governance program. So those best practices, they're there for a reason, they're foundational, they're not going away. That will be an incredible and important part of the future of NDM. But beyond kind of the core best practices, there, there are a few things that, that, that I see in the future of NDM. Uh, one is a greater reliance on AI and ML and what are known as augmented approaches to data management, uh, which will, will play an increasing role in uh, the future of MDM. But spoiler alert, the robots are not going to automate MDM, right? The robots will not deliver self-healing data or self-managing data. That will not happen. They will augment. They will, they will provide scale. They will provide additional layers of, of, of efficiency and insight and great value to MDM. So don't get me wrong, AI and ML, augmented data management is really, really important to MDM. Uh, but it's not going to solve for governance. It's not going to solve for all of these things that, that, are, that we know are important, including all those best practices that I mentioned. So yes, AI and ML. Uh, we do see uh, in the future of MDM uh, a greater reliance on external data sharing. So companies sharing data across them within sure. ecosystems and environments of data of sharing, just where it's a kind of MDM of MDMs type thing. Uh, so, so that's out there. Uh, blockchain, maybe, uh, we can talk about that uh, as the future unfolds, but I, but I do see a role here for blockchain one day in the future of MDM, probably five to eight years out, but we're really not there yet, a little, uh, little immature, but, but what, what do you think, though? I would encapsulate some of what you said there in terms of, you know, the past is prologue, like you said, spoiler yep. alert. Yep. Uh, there's all these things come along, and, and MDM is still a modestly penetrated market. It's technologically fairly mature, which makes it strange. Mm -hmm. But in terms of penetration, because it's hard to do, it's not easy. It's getting easier, but it's not easy yet. The, that penetration proceeds slowly. So, you know, the corollary to that is every time there's some new shiny thing that needs data, yep. some number of organizations try it, some huge percentage of them fail, and out of those failures, some percentage of them decide to, to pull the trigger and actually fix the problem, uh, whether it's digital transformation or AI or now the data fabric. All these things are great for MDM. Yep. Whatever, what, what, you know, what, whatever it continues to be called or not continues to be called, uh, you need to trust your data. The more and more of these things that come to the fore, the more the data needs to be trusted. And yep. There's really uh, a finite number of ways that can happen, and they all really involve MDM. I think MDM becomes pervasive when the right business stakeholders, and I stress business, see what's possible in terms of process reengineering and analytics optimization and jump on the bandwagon. And we said before the, this phrase, the fly, flywheel of enthusiasm, where uh, you can't stop them. They start to say things that you know, you're probably never going to do, but you know, they're getting the idea now that this data can actually be trusted and, they, and we can make more data trusted. Uh, that's what you want. You want that demand curve to go up where someone says, oh, now I get it. It's not only possible, I see sort of how it works. Can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And with you know, a multi-domain MDM platform, the answer is usually yes. It's more should we than right. can we. Uh, but I think that's where the inflection point is, where uh, the light bulb goes, goes off, to use that metaphor. And, right. and everyone says, oh, I see what this is now. Um, and they stop trying to define what MDM is in their heads and, and right. they start thinking in terms of business outcomes themselves.